Hey, I'm Renee, and today I'm going to be showing you how to create a nail art design inspired by my favorite place in the entire world, the beach. I absolutely love the beach, the colors, the beauty, and the serenity I experience when I'm there, and so I thought this design would be perfect for the summertime. If you agree, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, and let's get right into it. Step one is always to apply a base coat. Even a nine free polish can stain nails sometimes, so I like to use a base coat to keep my nails from turning yellow or changing colors. Now I'm applying two layers of white polish, and this is going to help the gradient stand out better when we get to that step. Now to prepare for the next couple of steps, I'm covering the skin just around my nails with liquid latex to make cleanup after quick and easy, since this design can get a little messy. If you can't use latex, you can also just use tape for this. For the gradient, I'm using a makeup sponge and I'm applying a light base shade for the sand, a light turquoise shade for the water, and then I'm using a darker blue to add some depth to the scene. And you can play around with these colors until the gradient is the way that you want it. Now I'm just going to gently dab the sponge onto my nails until the colors have seamlessly blended together. Now to create the reflective sea foam look, I have here a cup of water and I'm just going to add a few drops of white polish to the surface to create a film. Before the polish is able to dry, I'm using this body spray to spray the surface of the water. You can use any alcohol-based spray to do this, but this is just what I had on hand. And as you can see, because alcohol is a universal solvent, it actually helps to dissolve the polish on the water surface, creating this super cool sea foam look. How cool is this? Science. Once the film has separated, I can now apply my nail onto the area that I want to decorate my nail with. And then I'm just using a Q-tip to clean most of the film out of the water. Uh, just to avoid ruining the pattern that's already been placed on my nail. This can be kind of hard once the polish has separated, but that's all right. And I'm just going to do this for the rest of my nails. If you can manage to get more than one nail into the water at a time, this is definitely going to save you water and polish and time. Now I'm taking my tweezers and I'm just removing the liquid latex and cleaning up the skin around my nails. And I can end here but I'm gonna go ahead and top my nails with a quick drying top coat to seal in this design before I start adding some details. Now I'm taking my tiny detail brush and I'm using a pink polish to start painting some sea stars. I'm just painting five little arms for each sea star. I'm also using orange. You can paint your sea stars whatever color you want, but I really like these two colors for this design. Once I finish painting the sea stars, I'm going to take my dotting pen and white polish and I'm just going to paint some little white dots. I do have a tinier dotting pen, but I could not find it, so I had to just make do with this one and try to make the dots as tiny as I could. Just be patient with yourself if you try this and know that it doesn't need to be perfect.
Now, I typically don't add charms or decals to my nails, but for this design, I actually had found some seashells uh, in my nail art kit, so I thought I'd go ahead and use these for this. You can use nail glue for this, but I don't typically use nail glue. I find it can be kind of damaging to my nails when it's time to remove the design, so I just use clear polish. And then I'm just gonna take my glossy top coat, apply that over all of my nails, and this is the finished design. Super easy, really cute, and perfect for summer. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up, and I will see you in the next one.